one of the funny things, and I joke with Tina all the time, I just ignored her stuff for the first couple of years at, at Stanford because I went, who would ever need a class on ideation and creativity? Every entrepreneur is like constantly like, you know, and I realized that that's not true because the more I started teaching, I realized most people aren't continually innovative and in coming up with ideas. I was, I have to tell you, maybe besides pattern recognition, I'm constantly wired in the ideation and creativity phase. Anytime I see a problem, I'm continually thinking about how to solve it and different ways to solve it. And, and so I didn't think a class for that would be like getting a class on how to drink water. And and then I realized there's no, yet again, I'm an outlier. And, and, and think of outlier not as good or bad, it's just different. I'm constantly running maybe part of, the, of my pattern recognition skills, always thinking about ideation and creation. And so it comes naturally to me, and therefore I dismiss the need for a formal class. And that's also very, very wrong and mistaken. And I thought, in hindsight, actually got in my way of thinking about how valuable this front end of entrepreneurship and innovation course or courses should be. I think kind of as an intro to entrepreneurship, remember I said we should be teaching this as kind of a, much like we teach art education, we ought to be teaching entrepreneurship education. You can imagine having a creativity and innovation class being taught in middle and, and grade schools and high schools. And then, oh, what do you want to do with that idea once you think it up is the next thing is, and yes, here are the careers you could go do. And here's what an entrepreneur is. They take these ideas and they actually make something and they create something out of nothing, just like an artist. Um, so teaching people how to think like an entrepreneur and an innovator is kind of, I think, a necessary but missing piece of entrepreneurial education. And as I said, the prototypes of these are now being built at Stanford and, and other places of what those classes might look like.